buck rice and tariff output so this comes in the gs1 geography so production of pulses some cereals and groundnut expected to hit a three year low as the independent crop estimates so pulses are the major source of protein in the diet some of the major pulses produced in india include lentils chickpeas pigeon peas mug beans and black ram so pulses are typically grown during rabi season in india they require moderate temperatures and well distributed rainfall states like madhya pradesh up maharashtra rajasthan and ap are the major pulse producing states pulses are often grown in with rotation with other crops as they are enrich the soil with nitrogen and there are many types of pulses like chickpeas pigeon peas red lentils green gram black grams so the distribution of pulse cultivation in india is influenced by factors like climate soil type water and local agricultural practices so in 2020 the question have been asked like with reference to pulse production in india so isa that is international solar alliance to release report on global adoption of solar technology in november this comes under gs2 international relation so isa is a gathering of solar technology will for the first time compile and release a global solar stock take report so isa is an intergovernmental organization that was launched in 2015 and by the prime minister of india and president of france at the un climate change conference held in paris and it is an action oriented member driven collaborated platform for increased deployment of solar energy technology vision is let us together make the sun brighter mission is every home no matter how far away will have a light at home headquarters is located in gurugram india the key objectives of iasa are to facilitate the deployment of 1000 gigawatt of solar energy capacity globally by 2030 to mobilize more than uh, us dollar 1 trillion in investment for solar energy deployment and to develop innovative financial mechanism to reduce the cost of solar energy deployment and to encourage r and d of solar energy technology to establish solar energy as a mainstream source of energy for all center approves 22303 crore subsidy on key fertilizers so this comes in a gs3 economy so government announced 22303 crore subsidy on phosphatic and potassium fertilizer for the current rabi season and said the farmers will continue to get a key soil nutrient dap diammonium phosphate fertilizers are essentially food for crops which provides essential nutrients like humans crops need nutrients the primary nutrients are npk and secondary and micronutrients are copper manganese boron molybdenum for plant growth and grain yield so the introduction of nutrient based subsidy has been done recently by the government so the government fixed a per kg subsidy for npk also for sulfur the aim is to promote balanced fertilization okay. so in 2015 the center made it mandatory to cut all cut all indigenously manufactured and imported urea with neem oil so liquid nano urea is essentially urea in a form of nano particle aimed at reducing the unbalanced and undiscriminate use of conventional area and recent 2020 the question have been asked with reference to chemical fertilizer in india okay thank you